guys, Scorpio. It's Michelle from The Guided Intuitive. How are you? So I am here to do a read for you, and this will be for the full month of February 2019, okay? And this will be for all Scorpio sun, moon, and rising, as well as your Venus signs. If you're not sure what those signs are, guys, go ahead and check the description box below, okay? Uh, there is a link that you could plug in your data. It'll pop out your full astrological chart, and then you can check out those other videos and see how they resonate, okay? Uh, just keep in mind that energies do transcend. So what I might be reading for today might be your uh, present, might be your past, or someone's future yet to be, okay? So just keep that in mind through the process. Um, I hope that there is something here for uh, someone, or at least most of you here, okay? Please continue your likes, your subscribes, and your shares. I do appreciate that. I really read them. And you know that I also take a look at those comments as well. So just please note that. Um, and uh, if you're looking for a private read, go to theguidedintuitive.com. I want to thank everyone who's been doing those private reads. You have kept me so busy, and I'm looking forward to this, you know, second month of this new year. And um, I know that a lot of us, you know, depending on what sign that we are and where it falls, you know, where our, our you know, kind of our whole astrological chart, uh, it depends on when that, that new year truly starts for us. So a lot of you might be experiencing some of that right now. Some of you are really actually starting your new year right now. So, uh, so with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, lay out the cards here. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera down as well. So let me just move this over here. Sorry about that. Okay. So let me just move this down here and then let's go ahead and get going. All right. I just kind of want to bring it down to the board so you can pretty much see most of it, okay? Fantastic. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, so let's do this. So um, let me move most of my stuff here too. Okay, so let's do a couple more shuffles for your Scorpio and see what's going to come out for you for the month of February. Now, this is a general read. Just keep that in mind, okay? We're going to see what comes up. Uh, this is not you, any other person, because I do that. Uh, I'll be doing that next after I get the monthlies out uh, this week, okay? So let's cut the deck. Whoa, what's wanted to pop out? Ooh, is there a secret? Okay, is there a secret? Okay, we're going to put this back in. And I'm going to continue to shuffle, I'll shuffle a couple more times or so. Let's see, let's do three. And uh, we'll see if it wants to come out, okay? Let's go ahead and cut the deck. All right, so some of you might have a secret, okay? Or some of them might be kind of confined in you. And with that, with that happening, uh, then you got to kind of, maybe it's something you didn't really want to know or, you know, that you find it hard to keep. So, uh, and that being said, uh, just note that. Note your comments below if that resonates, okay? So let's take a look at where you're at right now, okay? Oh, nice. Oh, I love seeing this right out of the gates, guys. Now, this is talking about gratitude, right? Now, gratitude is all about, of course, being thankful what you currently have, right? And especially if at this time, you know, especially after the holidays and everything, you know, a lot of people are, are, have still been struggling to make ends meet. And maybe that's what's happening with you or you are experiencing a challenging time in your career or perhaps even your business. Uh, but what's going to happen is that you're going to be able to overcome this situation by using gratitude. It pays off unbelievably. I cannot tell you. There has been times in my life when I felt that I had nothing more but gratitude at my disposal. And at that moment, that's all I put my energy into. And I saw a huge, uh, huge change that, that, that took place for myself. And I can think of several instances. Uh, but what I had to do was definitely focus on mentally, spiritually, and physically and change my vibration to what it is that I lack, to what it is that I'm so incredibly grateful for. So that's what this card is calling out to you on. Okay, so stop dwelling on things that might be missing and truly be grateful, Scorpio, for what you currently have. Okay, uh, and, and, and what's going to happen is this, this golden light will surround you, right? So whatever, you know, this is almost like she's wearing this passionate cloak, right? It's red, it talks about passion. So 
if it's a relationship, it is it's a passionate pursuit. It is, you know, if it's something, a situation that you would like to see change and it's not working in your favor, gratitude is going to be your key to unlock the door, okay? And you're going to attract a lot more warmth and prosperity to you and it'll just create this aura around you to have that attraction, okay? So just keep that in mind. There's no need for any fear uh, because that's just going to block the universal flow of your abundance. And this is really talking about having faith and being incredibly grateful. So, so Scorpio, po focus right now on, on, on that which is positive and know that all will be resolved soon, okay? Uh, and you can expect a, a positive outcome over the next you know week or so or the next few days quite frankly is what this card talks about but i always kind of stretch it out a little bit more because you just never really know um, but it usually happens in the divine timing that it should the universe has a way of playing things out that always turn out a lot better than we had ever imagined so this is saying for you to trust and have the faith and transform that fear into that trust and faith and move it into gratitude um, be thankful for all the blessings in your life and give thanks for all the abundance and know, Scorpio, that you are safe, okay? So that's what it wants you to know, okay? So now let's go ahead and move to the next card. Now this card talks about war and peace, okay? Now these are about opposites, okay? So this could be that, you know, perhaps something uh, that, you know, maybe there's been some arguments that have been... Um, festering something that has been turning out and maybe it's been a, a kind of a war internally with you uh, or it could be something external that you feel that uh, you're up against what this is saying is that as much as there is war there is also peace opposites do exist right so this is what the card wants to remind you of uh, that, you know, as uh, there is a peaceful solution to whatever situation is at hand and it's calling on you to remind you of that. OK, so it might as a, you know, as I mentioned, be a clash of your mind, your mind and your heart, um, you know, at this moment, maybe your heart's pulling you in one direction and your mind is pulling you in another. OK, and that could be the case for you. Um, and that creates that inner war and it can create a little bit of that stressful feeling, right? So, you know, if that's what you're, you're currently experiencing and that is your dilemma, um, that what this card wants you to know is to embrace both. Embrace your mind, but also embrace your heart, okay? So do that and trust that your heart is sane, yet just apply that, that logic with that, that common sense also, because it's the saying that inner peace is only possible by bringing in both sides of your nature and embracing both of them, Scorpio. Okay, so acknowledge any fear that you have, but don't allow it to stand in your way because uh, only, you know, by doing what feels right in your heart, you're going to move towards your dreams and fulfilling them. Alrighty. Um, so, um, you know, keep that in mind. Logic, you know, sometimes practical knowledge is necessary as well as heartfelt inspiration uh, in order to achieve that harmonious, successful outcome. And so that's what the card wants to remind you of. OK, now let's go ahead and take a look at the next card and see where we're at. Ooh, the lover's card. Oh, how nice. OK, <laughs> we never know what's going to come up. So uh, we're just going to embrace this uh, as the two lovers are doing so in the card. So very nice. You might have a loved one that you're thinking about and perhaps uh, you mean grateful for them and also knowing that there is a peaceful communication. There is peaceful solutions uh, to what it is that you may be struggling against. OK, and, and so that's what the card is letting you know. All right. Um, so keep that in mind. And what this wants to say is that um, this is about. This is about really, um, it's almost as really seeing your partner for who they truly are. And this is what it tells me. It's like through your partner, sometimes you can see what otherwise uh, cannot see. Uh, you know, otherwise you cannot see. And it's, it's so beautiful. Um, and this is, this is talking about 
uh, you know, about almost like a god and goddess, you know, and it's about their endless cycles and seasons that they go through. And they're almost like they're heavenly bodies and, and they go through different times and, you know, of seasons to where there is peace. There may be, you know, I don't, wouldn't want to call for a war, but I mean, in other words, there probably could be, you know, some peace and there could be chaos. There could be, uh, you know, um, you know, focus on, uh, um, on other things other than grat what you do, what you want rather than what you already have together. And I think it's kind of bringing these two kind of into play as we go through here. Um, but it, it's quite beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And it, all it tells me is that it's really about to appreciate and savor every moment together and always keep that flame of love, a light in your hearts. Um, cause it's, it's almost as like, you know, they're, they're both uh, appreciating each other and having gratitude for each other. Um, it's almost as if a certain relationship is going to really develop for you, Scorpio, and it's going to grow for many years to come. And there's going to be a lot of blessings that are going to stem, you know, stem from that. So what this is saying is that really appreciate each other and be open with each other and receptive to one another's needs. Okay. And if you have any insecurity with your partner, um, you know, what you're going to find is that you'll find that your relationship will continue to strengthen if you express but if you don't express, it won't become strong. So it's up to you, Scorpio, to express that a little bit, to have a better, closer communication and have really bond mentally, physically, and spiritually, okay? So that's what that is saying, all right? Now, um, what it is that you have going for you right here, it feels like, is that your perception of things, Scorpio. Man, you've got that third eye insight. And if it couldn't be much clearer within this card, isn't this beautiful? It's like once that, you know, areas that had been clouded, it's now starting to clear away. And it's almost as if you're seeing the passion in what it is uh, that you're doing in life. Maybe it is that relationship that we discuss, but it's almost as if that red is almost as if that it's, it's turned into, instead of pain, it's turned into passion. And you're starting to see how beautiful not only you are as an individual, Scorpio, um, as a human being, and, and how intricate and how um, complicated, but also how beautiful and unique that you are, but also seeing that even in another. And the divine is also coming through on this too. It could also be that the divine is really giving you some beautiful insights to clear away to use your, your the sharpness of your perception to move forward on what it is that you want. Now, it could be career, it could be relationship, it could be a situation, it could even be all three or both or whatever. You tell me in the comments below, but what is really going for you at this particular time is your perception. And, and that is something that this card really, it really wants you, uh, it wants you, wants to kind of let you know, okay? And it really wants to bring it up. So keep that in mind, all righty? Um, because it is something that you, what's really, really going for you. What you might fear when this situation is the lovers, and that's about getting close, right? But that fear has to, this stems from expression and, and making sure that you express to bring in that closeness. So, um, and, and that's, that's kind of the key thing, okay? Now, let's go ahead um, and take a look about, you know, kind of, of, of what it is that um, you really need to focus on or kind of watch out for a little bit. And here we go. You've got love galore. <laughs> You've got the love card and it's almost as if this isn't a spot of what's going against you. Now, this is what's making me think is that are you discounting love in any certain way, shape or form because you might be focusing on what it is you don't have than being grateful for what it is you do have? And that very much will be the case. Now, it also could be about loving yourself. Are you stopping for a moment and taking a look at, and, and taking an assessment of your needs and your wants and what you desire in terms of a relationship, in terms of a situation, in terms of, you know, I don't know, your, your career, your life, whatever. But this is taking a moment to make sure you count all these blessings and these little pebbles that, that I just kind of come on to call them blessings that they just pile up and talk about love, all right? And it's all about making sure that you definitely love yourself in this process, okay? 
uh, you know, whatever it is for you, you know, maybe, and I had these little stones, you know, maybe it's a particular dream that, uh, you know, to, that you have that you want to come to fruition. It could be one of these pebbles here, right? Maybe it is in some sort of shape or form that you want um, a more substantial love relationship that's more solid and that's durable, right? And it's something that you could really hold uh, in your hand and actually grow with. Now, that's another situation, you know, and perhaps it's just, you know, something um, that you would like to see bloom into this purity of, of, of just of beauty. And that's all this wants to let you know is that it's important that you love yourself in this process because if you don't, it's going... Uh, to heed your progress. It's going to heed progress in a relationship, in your work, and in anything that you do in terms of moving forward. And of course, it will cloud your perception. All right. So do keep that in mind. Now, what's the overall outcome as we see here? It's so interesting. You're getting that, um, you're getting the, the, uh, the opposites. You've got saint and sinner. Okay. Very interesting, just like you have war and peace, right? You have war and peace here, and then you've got saint and sinner. So how interesting in this is this? So when I see this, what this tells me is that there's assumptions that you're making about someone, Scorpio, that might not be on par, okay? And um, it can turn out to be completely wrong than what you think in your head. So this is saying is that, for every theory that is out there, there is an opposing one, right? That we just discussed. War and peace, you know, saint and sinner, okay? We have this in all of us. It's not just you, Scorpio. We all have this, right? But you're being advised to keep a really, um, an open mind and then also an open heart because all is not necessarily what it seems. So what does that hold for you? Is that in a relationship? Is, is that, are you looking from a distance and maybe thinking, this is what I think is happening and you're guessing, but you're not getting the full, you know, information. And I think what it is, is that what it's going to take is a lot more communication, okay, to rid of any judgments. And remember that often the judgments we make about others are usually the judgments we, that we make about ourselves, right? Uh, you know, you're not going to find peace and fulfillment if you hold on to the arguments and to the, the bitterness and all of that, right? And that I'm right, right? And, and that type of attitude. This is saying is that there's no single truth that's going to apply universally to everything, right? And, and to everyone. And so things are going to be much clearer, all right? And, um, and, and, and there's not a, 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 just one single truth that's going to be a one size fits all for everyone. So just keep this in mind that, you know, through this process, um, what's going to move you in the direction that's going to make you energetically feel better, you know, for yourself, uh, in a situation, perhaps maybe more information and, and clarity is needed. And that's just going to come through again, expression expression is going to be important. Okay. Loving yourself is going to be important. And with gratitude, you're going to have more of a keen perception with warm peace. What comes right underneath that, of course, is love. So it wants you to choose whatever is, you know, what is going to make you, um, it's, it's going to, it wants you to choose love to come from love. And in the lovers, uh, you're right underneath that is saint and sinner. So it could be that in a particular love situation that you might not be judging it correctly, okay? Um, and perhaps more communication and better communication, more quality communication is going to be necessary. So I want to point that out, all right? So now let's take a look at um, a few other cards. Uh, and then we're going to see what's going to help you through this process, Scorpio, okay? Let's see what's going to help you through this process. Very beautiful read. A lot of good stuff here, guys. Um, let's go see. I'm going to pull some cards on my peace cards here. Ooh, this is about the core. And it's so funny. I was like, late, late, falls out, you know, right on the love card. But this is really at the core of your own being. What is it that you really, really want as it pertains to a relationship, as it pertains to, you know, a, a, a venture, a situation at hand? Um, because at the core of everything is love. And you, starting with love for yourself, right? 
Um, but what this wants to let you know is to really focus on uh, even your core um, uh, your core chakra is going to be really, really important as well as your throat chakra. You see how it's almost as if it's like the heart chakra is speaking, like your core, your core, your core, your solar plexus chakra is your powerhouse, right? And it's almost like this is displayed a little higher and it's red, so it's closer to the heart, but it's also, you see how it funnels out into a voice? And so I'm thinking that expression is going to be very, very key. And this wants you to embrace your expression, okay? And let it shine out because it's which because it's it's going to be important. Now it's important to express with compassion, with the love, right? And in 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 peace, of course, and not war. It's going to help out so much better. But this is saying to embrace that because that's going to really help you tremendously. Let's see what other advice that we can get from you here. Okay, let's see what else uh, is going to truly help you in this process. Okay, what else do we have? <laughs> Brilliance. Well, yes, you are brilliant, Scorpio. I'll say that, okay? <laughs> you, you truly are. And this is, I, I think to me this is saying is to use the brilliance that you have inside you. Uh, when you start focusing on the gratitude, you see that the light that shines around in the aura of this person as they utilize the gratitude and their passions and what they want that what this is saying is that you've got brilliance in you and that is going to be coming through when you love yourself and um, you get insights from, you know, you get greater perception uh, and you start, uh, you know, focusing on um, like your third eye, your sixth sense and using your intuition. By using your intuition, your sixth sense, your third eye, it's almost as if you gain this beautiful brilliance coming through. And it's going to lighten the load for you. It's almost like a, it's almost, you see how it's almost as like, it's like a, it's like a wind of, of, of just fresh, beautiful wind. It's like the wind that's going through your hair and in your face on a beautiful breezy day and where the sun is out and, and nature is abound and you're just really enjoying Mother Earth's touch. And it's, it's exactly how I feel that, you know, you, you've got brilliance in you and the world wants you to share it. So if this happens to be a business venture or you have a certain idea, this is saying your brilliance is, is there in you and you're just as brilliant as some of the most brilliant people out there. So this is saying to really utilize uh, your insights and everything that we've discussed here to really bring that out, okay? And to really uh, help it uh, truly color your world, right? Really color your world, all right? What is the uh, final card that we can use for you here that will really help you? Consistency, okay? Now, consistency plays a big role in a lot of things. Now, consistency, this is about, you know, obviously following through time after time again. And uh, also about, you know, not just doing one single act of kindness and that's, you know, you're done. You're done for your lifetime and that's good and, you know, that's that's all as well. This is saying consistency is what it's going to take and that's going to help you pay off, okay? Now, it could be consistency in expressing yourself in a relationship, all right? Uh, now, consistency can also be uh, the inconsistency. Uh, that, you know, you might have in not expressing yourself, you know, so that's, you know, you can have consistency in expression and inconsistency in cons expression. So which one is it, you know, that you want to choose, right? Um, there could be consistency in being the saint or consistency in being the sinner, which will you choose? Okay. It, it's your choice. And this is saying to really call upon, uh, you know, your own brilliance, right? And to listen to your heart your throat chakra, and then gain those insights that come through. Um, and, and of course, focus on gratitude to get those insights uh, to really move you forward. But but be persistent in what it is that you want, okay? Don't just do it one time. This is a reminder to let you know that it's going to take a consistent practice. It's going to take consistent focus. It's going to take consistent effort. Um, and, it, and, 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 and for anything that is truly uh, wonderful that, that you would like to have in your life. So that's what that wants to bring about. So is uh, what uh, one-liners can we get for you in terms of this process that will help you, Scorpio, in the month of February 2019? What a beautiful read. This is so cool, guys. Really cool. All right, let's see here. What do we have? 
honesty. Oh, this is beautiful. So now what this talks about is, is, is to be honest with yourself and, of course, with others, right? I mean, you can't always expect the truth from others, but what you can do, Scorpio, is expect the truth in yourself. OK, and so this is really about finding your truth and being honest with yourself, checking them with yourself to get those insights and being honest with that in terms of your expression. OK, uh, and that expression could be just internally or externally uh, in a relationship or in a situation or be honest with yourself that relates to your career. All those types of things can come into play. OK, note your comments below. All right. Ooh, look at this, Scorpio. Well, relationships are really coming strong through here, okay? Um, and this is about that you are attracted to those people who serve your highest good, okay? And I think what you're going to be doing is creating that network of those that are, that are really focused on your highest good and not those that bring you down, right? It's almost as building that web, right? It's, it's really building that web of that, of that beautiful network of souls, of like-minded individuals. And those are the type of relationships that you really want to enrich those are the type of relationships that you want to be consistent in. And those are the type of relationships you want to love. And those are the type of relationships that you're going to have gratitude for. Okay. So that's what this card wants to let you know. And one more card for you that will help in the process. Rid of any worry. Okay. Know that by, you know, focusing on worry is just a waste of time, energy, energy. And, uh, you know, you're, you're just time and energy period, quite frankly. And it doesn't, doesn't change the outcome, right? I think you're learning that worry is just wasted energy that could be spent <laughs> more on gratitude to create more gratitude in your life, right? Um, and, and to get rid of worry and focus just on love, have compassion toward yourself and love towards yourself. Okay. And I think that's really key. Um, and don't worry about a relationship, but, you know, have expression and communicate and tap in with your third eye. So, you know, I really get the chakras of the uh, throat chakra, the, the, you know, the third eye chakra, um, and uh, also the solar plexus chakra and the heart chakra. So maybe do some clearing out of that to, to just keep it clear and to keep it clean so you always resonate with this. So when we see you, Scorpio, it's, oh, <laughs> we've got this around you. And it's, it's, it's a sexy attraction of type energy. And everyone wants to be around this warm type energy. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much. Um, I so look forward to, oh, wait. You know what I want to do is I want to pull a rude card real quick. Because I did on the others. So I thought, well, let's just pull one here. What you don't want to hear but need to hear. Okay. I just forgot about that. But I'm going to go ahead and let's see what it is. It's for Scorpio. What Scorpio needs to know. Okay, what is that? Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. You are talented and flipping amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb stuff, okay? So there you go, okay? There you have it, okay? So I guess this was really true, right? Focus on your gratitude, guys, okay? Focus on it. Bring more of that in. You're brilliant uh, in, in, in meditate and get that perception real sharp by focusing on love uh, and in you know going through that expression part of it, especially in all your relationships. So I look forward to seeing you in the month of March. And until then, namaste.